All right, so we finished the Pacific Ace. I'm really looking forward to flying it. But, uh, you know, I'm really enjoying the building here, so we're going to move on to the next project. Okay, and the next project is a kind of similar, somewhat similar plane, all right, it, in that it also came in a 20, 30, and 40 inch version. And I have the 40 inch plans, but uh, I'm going to build the 30 inch version. It's called the Black Bullet, all right. Really nice looking plane. Okay, I've wanted to build this for many, many years, so that's why I'm going to get to it here. Now, there are a few issues here, okay? One is, you know, the nose is, again, kind of deep, so I'm going to have to think about how I'm going to do that. It also looks like it might be a little tight for the half tube, so I'm going to have to think about that. Uh, also, I have to make the bottom wing removable, you know, rubber banded on and removable. I'll probably just cut it over here because that's important in terms of making it crash proof. You really got to make it so the wing just gets knocked off, and that way you won't get wing damage, all right? Now, I don't really have much experience flying low wing designs. I've made a couple low wing peanuts, but this is going to be new for me, okay? It's about P30 size, so I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing how this flies. All right, so we're going to get cracking here. I want to get building, and uh, we'll see how that goes. Okay, so we're building away here. Now what I did again, uh, similar to what I've done on other planes, is there was a lot of bend here, so I used one of my other forms, this is for the P30, and just soaked it and bent it a little bit so it takes the right shape, okay? Also, I built the body which faces the other way, and then what I did is I flipped it over to uh, build the other side. This way I always have the uh, side that's facing out is facing up. So if you get a little glue or whatever on the inside, you don't have to worry about it, all right? So we're going to get going on the wing and see how that goes. All right, so we made progress on the black bullet. Okay, so here's the wing. And, you know, I did it the way they say on the plan, which is you just kind of join the center spar and then you make a center section. But if I had to do it again, I wouldn't do it that way. Okay, I, I would just make the two wing halves and then the center section and, you know, do it in the conventional way. I think you can set the dihedral more accurately. But it came out okay, and you can see I put some a little additional reinforcement there, and also that piece there is uh, for the equipment's going to go in there. We got the stab and the rudder done, all right. Uh, there's the nose, okay, I'll show you that in a minute. And uh, we got the fuselage. Now, I wanted to make the wings so that it's uh, it can pop off. In other words, they had it just slip in. Uh, okay, but if you do that and you hit a tree or the fence, it's going to crack the wing or it's going to crack the bottom here or something. So I, I really wanted to make it so it just rubber bands on. And here's how I did it. I put a little uh, keying in there actually so the bottom will slip in place and then it'll be held on by rubber bands. The other sheeting's in there because that'll create a uh, compartment for the equipment, you know, and it'll keep the lube off it. So here's the bottom part, <laughs> all right. So the other thing I did is, I was originally thinking of just gluing the wing to this, but then you can't adjust the incidence, so here what I did is it screws onto the wing. Okay, that's why I have the screws there. I also soaked that with a little bit of thin CA just to harden it up a little bit. You can probably see that. Alright, so I'll put the wing on here and I'll show you how it mounts to the body. All right, so now I have the wing screwed to the bottom, so I just used two, um, two fifty-six nylon screws. They're very, very light and some very small nuts there as well. And this way I can put a shim in. So here, for example, I put in about an eighth inch. I figured it's probably going to need some positive incidence. And this way, you know, if it needs less incidence or more, I can adjust it. All right. So this was really the simplest possible way to do it. Now I'll show you how it attaches to the plane. Okay. So now I have it rubber banded on. You can see it keys in really nice. All right. And, uh, you know, this worked out pretty well. Now, I hope it works. I've only done this with high wing planes, but hopefully the wing will pop off uh, when you hit something that just makes it a lot more crash proof. You know, with my coops and wakes and high wing old timers, I never get wing damage. If you really have a bad accident, the wing will just pop off and float down. All right, so we're just about ready for covering. Here you can see I moved the rear peg up uh, about a half inch or so. Well, actually they show it pretty far back, so I moved it up a bit. I basically went as far back as I could get in here with my uh, half tube, because of course I want to wind outside the plane, okay? I'll show you what I had to do for the gizmo, and then we'll get covering. Okay, here's the front end. So you can see what I had to do here is I had to drill about a half inch hole to give room for the, that's the rubber connector. 
to give it room to clear. You can see even then it's a little bit uh, into the nose plug. I actually had to drill it into the nose block. So here it is extended. You can see it's out so you can hook on your motor and all of that. And then if it retracts, you can see it actually goes into the nose button like that. And it clears nice. And uh, so even though you have a deep nose button, I think this is still going to work well. Worked on the Pacific Ace. I basically did the same thing. Okay, here's how I did the equipment. So I put the servo on the side here. All right, just glued it on with a little five minute epoxy. And uh, in this case, I used a push rod because I didn't want to deal with the pull pull. Okay, it's a little easier. Now I kept the wire outside because I was worried that it might get tangled up with the rubber or something. All right, then you can see the switch. And then I have the equipment and uh, you know, I just kind of taped the wires in place there on the bottom. So I have the uh, receiver and the battery connector, okay? And uh, this is the lemon receiver, all right? And so all you gotta do when you put the wing on is if you look in the wing over here, you'll see I have like a little compartment. And uh, basically you just kinda, that's where this goes. The, you slide the receiver and the battery in there and then everything fits in nice and you put the wing on. All right, so we're gonna get the windshield on and just finish it up and we'll be ready to go. All right, the black bullet. Finally got it done. I didn't do as good a covering job, I think, as I did on the last one. I mean, the Pacific Ace came out just perfect. Uh, this was a little tricky to cover the wings, okay? Uh, it was hard to get the tip smooth. I had to do it more than once. Uh, I'd recommend if you really want to get it perfectly smooth, I'd probably do a separate piece for the tips. But uh, they didn't come out too bad. I could have also more aggressively shrunk it, but I didn't want to take a chance in this case, okay? Now originally I was going to make it all black, but I ended up deciding that uh, I'll put a little color in the wing. Uh, it's kind of hard to see in front of the trees. You can see that in my uh, Raven video, it's kind of dark, so I think that'll help for it to show up. I made my plug-in landing gear as usual, and it's got the little hole down. Okay, I like the way that works. We got the gizmo geezer on there. Okay, we've got the equipment in there, so it's all ready to go. Now, I don't have much experience with the low wing this size, so I'm really looking forward to getting out and uh, trying to do some flying. All right, it's a lot of fun. I think it's a sleek looking plane, and uh, you know, I, I actually ended up being happy with the color scheme. The wing color this time is called Cranberry. That's Design Master Floral. The rest of it was all flat black. All right, so it's a sleek plane. Looking forward to flying it. Should be a lot of fun. All right, I forgot to show you the RC, so uh, here's the rudder, okay, and I think it's got plenty of throw. All right, uh, the push rod, a lot of times I put a support, but uh, I don't think you really need it this time. It's only nine inches long, okay. Also, the color is called uh, raspberry, not cranberry, all right. Um, the total weight was 57 grams, which I think is pretty good. I mean, the uh, Pacific Ace was 56. The equipment added about six grams, okay? So I'm really looking forward to getting out and getting flying. Very nice. Okay. I wish there were some thermals around. Man, nothing, it's too cold. Gotta get it back. Gonna be in the trees.
Okay. back a little bit. Beautiful climb. Oh. Now we gotta bring it back. Too far. Nice. 